time. Come on. I am Maximilian Cooper, founder of Gumball 3000. We are finally here in three years. It's taken three years. We're so happy to be here. Gumball is back. So this year's route, 2022, started in Toronto and crossed the finish line six days later in the amazing Miami. Amazing to have ignition on this year's rally. They not only participated and hosted events and parties, but beyond that, they actually kind of gave away $250,000 competition prize and created Gumball slot machines. It was great to have Ignition Casino part of the gifting suite. They had Martin Landy DJing and gifted everyone this beautiful poker set. Gumball 3000 is just the most outrageous, spectacular road rally, supercar, celebrity event in the world. We utilize our passion for cars, music, travel, fashion, living life, to host some great people that have a similar kind of outlook on life and try and share that to the wider community. Especially in the world that is full of negative politics the whole time. It's about putting a bit of fun back into the world. My name is Jai Ananda. I'm a neurosurgeon. So I'm from Los Angeles. So I do brain surgery. You know, I think quite a lot of people on the rally are successful business people. You know, being top of your game in sports, being top of your game in music, you you got to put everything into it, and you go through the highs and the lows, and and you know, maybe for. For years, you, you haven't made it. It's not just about having fun. You know, this is almost a celebration of a, of a lot of hard work for people over the years to have made it in life in a success in whatever field they're in. Gumball is a lovely way of just connecting people and sharing this road trip. And, and you find that, you know, friends are made for life. I don't know, it's the 18th or 19th Gumball. <laughs> when the hop calls you up and says, Hey buddy, do you want to do the gumball? You just crack on, don't you? He's a rookie. I'm the rookie of the gumball. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm so drunk. <laughs> Why not? Why not? Why not? Because There's you sure. can. Because you can. Because you can. By stroke of uh, luck, I guess, I'm work, I, work, I do a movie with Eve years ago. Eve is married to Max. I go to London, I randomly meet up with Max. Max convinces me to do gumball. And it all comes full circle. How does gumball resonate with your DNA? <laughs> it, makes them, it makes them vibrate. <laughs> gumball really was the first time in my life I felt fully accepted by a large group of people. And it was just the best time. So I guess the family, when they say gumball family, that's they mean it. There really is such a thing. Oh, I'm uh, a French crazy ass guy who's trying to collect as many uh, good experiences and fun activities in his uh, short lifespan. I never had this kind of mindset to go and get a job in a, in a traditional way. I've been very fortunate that I've managed to kind of earn some money through modeling. In my uh, late teens to mid twenties, I learned to race cars during that time as well and, and go and use that money from the fashion world and brought sponsorship into my own racing. Essentially, I got a really incredible black book of, of friends. And what do I do at the end of all of that? I sort of wanted to create something that could bring it all together. So long, long story short, I tried to buy a Formula One team with a bit of investment from, from some friends of mine. We didn't succeed. The Gumball came about because it was my way of sort of bringing all these friends of mine together and sort of showing them I could do something in a way. Around that time, we're now in spring 1999, I invited 50 odd friends, like a, a totally eclectic mix of fashion designers, supermodels, to heads of banks, to racing drivers. We had uh, from the likes of Chris Eubank driving his monster truck through to McLaren F1 LMs on the grid and, and E-types and American muscle cars and every newest Ferrari and Lamborghini of the moment. We had Danny and Kylie Minogue, the launch party we did in London, everyone from Madonna to whoever came to it. I think I planned for that to be a one-off, just to kind of host everyone and, and, and bring these people together. The realization was that by the end of you know, that rally, that it created something a bit magic and, and there wasn't anything out there that existed like it at the time. So we'd evolved in that period from being a car rally to an annual event, to a brand that was selling merchandise worldwide. Now we're gonna get, this is, this is very important, this is a wristband. Yeah. 
I am Bernard Freeman, my professional name, Bun B. I am a recording artist, um, part-time educator at Rice University, and a gumballer. I first was brought onto gumball in 2010, London to NYC. Got to the hotel, checked in, and the first person I saw was Exhibit. And I was like, Exhibit? He's like, Bun B? I was like, yeah. He's like, are you here for gumball? I was like, yeah. He's like, follow me gave me a lot more information, what to expect, which was expect anything. And I've been here ever since. Getting the registration, seeing people I haven't seen in years, Max and Eve in particular, seeing Wild Cooper for the first time, a gorgeous little boy. As you started to go through the day, you realize we're really about to rally again. King Griffey Jr., we're in Toronto, Gumball 3000, it's gonna be crazy. I drove with James Walker, known as Mr. JWW, to his social media fans. Uh, to me, he is just James that is married to my sister. Yeah, I started a YouTube channel towards the end of 2015. I started on my iPhone and um, yeah, it gained traction beyond anything I expected and a big part of that journey has been Gumball. <laughs> Yeah, so this year I drove the uh, car number seven. I'm always car number seven. This year it was the number seven Ignition Casino Lamborghini Aventador. And this is our sexy beef of a ride. This is us. I don't, this is about as Miami as it gets. Other than a white Testarossa, maybe. This is about as sort of Miami as it gets. You know, Miami blue and pink, and you know, we've got the Miami blue and pink on here. It's fully on brand, isn't it? Yeah, you know? I'm loving it. The optional extra cup holder. <laughs> I'm not joking, they don't come with one as standard. So, so there's literally an optional extra. Look at 3,000 miles in this. That's gonna be, I've got my chiropractor on speed dial. You know? <laughs> so this year's grid, amazing car display on Young Street, stretching for at least probably half a mile. But I would say the car I, I think that I would, uh, I would like to drive of all the cars that are down here, I, I think that P1, the car in P1. The one that I'm most jealous about is the bus. The job they've done in that thing is Absolutely insane. They got like a DJ booth in there. The A12 was always nasty to see in person. Team Goldfinger. A12 is a beautiful car, bro. Just excited to be able to do a rally again. We haven't been able to do this one for two years. It was like high school reunion. Got to see a bunch of old friends, meet some new ones. And we're ready for a big night tonight. Jack Astor's overlooking a concert on Young Dundas Square. Me and Ignition got some fly shit going on. Watch. Take it serious. I showed them that I could first. Now I got a crib off the strings. So that's good. I got way too much money coming out of woodwork. Remember back then, dog, I told them that it would work. They ain't take it serious. Well, the rap cause of truth and justice. The true father. He's all right. What's in In terms of like something to stoke the fire before we all went, that was that was crazy. Actually, whilst driving the rally is pretty exclusive, and all these events we put on, concerts and car shows, they're always free. And quite often, that's why we do get some phenomenal crowds as well. People that probably uh, can't afford to go to a music concert always or to a car show with a heavy ticket price, and they come and support Gumball and, and feel a bit closer to it and, and quite brand loyal to it. Here from Montreal? You smell so good. Oh, no, thank you. <laughs> that never gets old. The Gumball 3000 Foundation auction this year. Private concert from yours truly. I'm a massive fan. And I'm just pulling up, I'm doing it. I'm bringing the sound, I'm bringing everything. All you got to do is bring the people and the liquor. Well, I'll go half on you with the liquor. So after the first decade of Gumball, I sat back for a second and realized what incredible sort of uh, alumni we'd, we'd assembled. So we just thought, you know, how can we utilize that, that audience that we have, that members club essentially that we've got for greater good. Uh, we'd worked with charities since the first rally anyway. Everything from men's health charities, testicular cancer to Make-A-Wish foundations. And so the Gumball 3000 Foundation was almost uh, an organic next step. 
with our vision basically to kind of support youth projects, youth in low income communities to give them opportunities in life. A lot of the successful people on the rally have come from nothing. Some of them uh, have grown up in you know, very humble beginnings and, and quite poor communities and, and they've been the ones that have sort of fought through that and, and, and got their success really. You know, this week we've done our sort of traditional fundraiser during the week where we have a, an online grid of all the cards prior to the event starting that closes at midnight before the start flag drops and every team can sort of donate bid on their own on their own car to push it up the grid into pole position. We raised over five hundred thousand pounds on that charity grid. Gumball, you know, is such a great event. It's such a great giving event, you know, and it's not a race, it's a rally. But fuck I like to go fast. And myself and my co-driver, we've agreed to give $1,000 to every mile an hour faster than the speed limit, and we're gonna pay our own tickets. So we'll see how this one works out for us. Let's go, Mo, baby! What's going on, guys? Zach from Team Texas. We're about to start off in Toronto. It's about to get crazy. Just stay tuned, boys. Never switch on your chick, that's on bitch code. Catch a trick, fry him up in that Crisco. Fuck the grid, I'ma dip to a flip phone. On the split. Toronto to Miami, the flag is about to drop. Weighed by none other than David Hasselhoff himself. The feeling is nice, as the Cuban brothers would say, and we're about to hit it. 3,000 miles, 3,000 smiles. Let's do this. On the line. Bad bitches, every city. You know, a lot of rallies, and there is nothing like this. The world peaches right. Catch, catch, hit my baby G shots. Yeah. My thoughts linked up, multiplying, no divide, dropping hit. Yeah, so we didn't get the car we wanted to, so I mean, this is the best we can do at short notice. This is the most comfortable thing in the world, man. And how's a bar? Yeah, that's in leather. Seats come all the way out. You can lay back, crash in there, big couch in the back. You want to stretch your leg. Kind of slummy right now. You fun? <laughs> what is this? Ball of shit. Get ready, baby. We are about to start the winning stick. He's going to start the winning stick. He's going to start the winning stick. He's going to start the Stopped in Indianapolis for the Indy 500. Turns out to be the largest attended sporting event in the world. Not in motorsport, in the world. We are here, baby. Indy 500. Gumball ignition style. It's going to be 400,000 people here watching this. That's like eight times more people than the Super Bowl, bro. It's the Indy 500.